right, we're going to look at the magic square here on the bottom of the last page. So this says the magic square has the property that the sum of the three numbers in each and every row, column and diagonal, are the same. Uh, what number should be in the center of the magic square shown at the right? So we know that if we add this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, diagonally, diagonally, every single direction, all these sums all have to equal the same thing. So here is the easiest way to solve this quickly. I can put in a letter or a variable in this square here so that I know that 9 plus n plus 17 equals something. Okay? I also know, so that's going this way. So I also know that if I go this way, it has to equal the same thing. So this equation also will equal 15 plus question mark plus n. Okay, so the equation here is I'm taking 15, I'm adding it to this, and I'm adding it to this. That will equal something. Well, this plus this plus this will also equal some, something, and these two things have to be the exact same thing. That means that this equation and this equation have to add up to the same thing. Well, I know that the n number, even though I don't know what it is, the variable, it has to be the same in both equations. So I can just get rid of it because it basically cancels each other out. So here, then I now end up with 9 plus 17 equals 15 plus what? Well, 9 plus 17 is 26, so 26 equals 15 plus what? And what do I add to 15 to get 26? That would be 11. So if I put 11 in for the question mark, that should uh, solve this magic box. So let's check to see if that happens. So if I put 11 in here, I know 19 plus 11 is 30, plus 3 is 33. Okay? So I know that every single direction has to equal 33. So if I do 15 plus 11, I have 26. 26 plus 7 is 33. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 17 is 33. Okay? So again, if I go diagonal now, 9 plus 11 is 20. So this has to be 13 in order to make that 33. 17 plus 3 is 20, plus 13 is 33. We know already that this is 33. Um, and the only thing left we have to prove is this square. 17 plus 11 is 28, plus 5 would give me 33 this way. 9 plus 19 is 28, plus 5 is 33. And 5 plus 15 is 20, plus 13 is 33. So no matter what direction I go, I always end up with the sum of 33 by putting an 11 here. Okay, so again, we can say 15 plus what? Plus n equals 9 plus n plus 17. The n's cancel each other out. 15 plus what? equals 26. <clears throat> we know that this then has to be 11 to make this side worth 26. So 11 is, that's how I got the 11.